everybody. Les Butler here for SouthernGospel365.com. I'm with my friend Gordon Moat. Hello, Brother Gordon. 365daysayear.com. Yes, that's right. Except for this year, it's 366.com because yeah. it's leap year, my friend. <laughs> that's exactly right. I, I should have, have got friends. that domain. That's right. You should have 366.com. <laughs> for, just for once every four years, be able to pop, pop on in there for a That would have been awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, man, thanks for hanging out with me today. Hey, this is fun. Now, you're taking a, a little break. You're getting ready to go to an award show. You're going to uh, co-host it and do some singing and picking. Yeah. Absolutely well, Gospel Awards. Co-hosting with Josh Singletary. Very cool. Now, so we're talking awards. Yeah. So I got a question for you. Yeah. Do you remember the first award you ever won? The oh. very first one. No. Ooh, talent, I stumped you. A talent show in third grade, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I, I, I think... I think I won a talent show in the third grade. Okay. All right. All right. Let's fast forward then. Is that, is that a little a past good then. Okay. That's a good. No, that's a yeah. Okay. That, that's a truthful answer. Okay. Now, the first award that you really remember as something super special. Do you remember which? which Probably one it was? my first Academy of Country Music Award. Yeah. Probably. That's pretty special. Uh, <laughs> I. The the funny story about that is I had been nominated for the Piano Player of the Year in, in the, with, for the Academy of Country Music, I had been a no, a nominated 10 times before I won it. Oh, boy. Yeah. So my friend... The Susan Lucci, right? That's what they called me. And of course, then I had to go find out who that was. You know, but uh, and my son, the other day, um, Parker, because I was nominated again this year, uh, and, and Parker, my 16-year-old, my he was on line... And he came to me one night. We were watching baseball game a couple uh, weeks ago, a spring training game. Mm -hmm. And he came to me and he said, Dad, that's so cool. You were nominated for the ACMs again. You didn't tell me. I was like, well, thanks, buddy. And he was like, Dad, you've been nominated 14 times. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought he was going to give me this real sweet compliment, you know. And he yeah. said, Dad, I'm only 16. I said, yeah, I've been doing this for a little while. He said, you're old, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. So, now, you've won more than one ACM, Yeah, right? I've, I, I was uh, fortunate enough to win it a couple times. And, yeah. and then uh, I've won the, the Music Row Award. I've won that a couple times. That, yeah, that's, that's a good one. That there. was a real, like, that was such a surprise. All of them. I mean, anytime I'm nominated, I'm surprised. Um, because there's just so much talent in this town. This this the, the city of Nashville just has the best musicians in the world. Yes. So, to be able to come here and make a living doing anything that has to do with music is pretty pretty fun and, and I feel very, very fortunate. But to be able to play in the studios with the best musicians and, and to be able to enjoy it, you know, on a pretty much a daily basis. Yeah. Some days I don't enjoy it. That's why they call it work, right? Yeah, but, yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm very, very fortunate. And then to be... Um, being able to travel, uh, um, you know, and and do this wonderful music, I don't know if what I do is strictly Southern gospel. I don't really know what I do. Uh, I just do what I love. I have so many different influences. You know, I do anything from praise and worship to more maybe edgy kind of things, country things, gospely kind of things. Um, but because I was a part of the Gaither organization for a while. I, I was, you know, kind of, I kind of fit into that Southern gospel thing a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so I'm grateful that, that the genre has accepted me and to get to travel all over the world and meet people and sing the music that I love, as well as to get to play in the studio with the lots of Christian and secular entertainers. Yeah. Yeah. I feel very, very fortunate to be able to do that, to have the family that I have, uh, my wife and three children, uh, and and the awards are cool, Les. You know, and and we've I've been nominated for uh, you know quite a few and won quite a few, but that's not why anybody in our industry does what we do. The real reward yeah. is when somebody comes up to you and tells you that a song that you sang changed their life. Yeah, it sure is. Or encourage them to do more, do better, or whatever. Uh, to to to, yes, to hear the stories and get those stories on your Facebook page or your email or your Twitter or whatever, uh, that's the real reward. Yeah, for agreed. Sure. Well, Gordon just said he loves what he does, and just for the record, we love what he does as well. <laughs> Thank you. Gordon Moat and his old buddy Les Butler right here on today's southerngospel365.com. Mm -hmm.